Greetings, Mr. Kaufman here, and this is how you draw a simple landscape using a horizon line as a starting point. Let's begin by looking at some landscapes by some very famous artists. Here's a painting by Claude Monet. What I want you to look at is where does the sky and the land meet? That space is called the horizon line. Can you find it on this painting? This painting was done by the artist Grant Wood, an American artist who spent a lot of time in the country, if you can't tell, looking at his painting. Where's the horizon line in this picture? What happens when you move the horizon line to the top of the paper? How about this night picture by Vincent Van Gogh called Starry Night? Where is the horizon line in this picture? Notice this time it's down low. And here's a painting by the artist Wayne Teabode. I don't even see the horizon line. What happens when the horizon line is not even in the picture? This next painting is done by the artist known as Hokusai, a Japanese artist. Can you find the horizon line here? Seems to be fading into the sky. And what if the artist does a picture of the ocean where there is no land? like this painting by Winslow Homer. Can you find the horizon line in this picture? Where is that place where the land and the sky meet? So the first thing we're gonna do with the landscape project is we're gonna draw a couple sketches. So this will be our sketch side. Try to figure out what we wanna do. So what I want you to do is draw some rectangles that represent the paper that you're gonna draw in a second. And through that paper, you want to draw right to the middle. This is called the horizon line. That's where the land and the sky meet. Okay, horizon line. Okay, so on top of the horizon line, you can put some mountains, some hills, some mountains. We'll make a jaggedy looking line like this that goes across. Maybe one behind, like a volcano. And then, put a dot on the horizon line. And from that place, we're going to put a long road. And notice that it gets wider as it gets to the bottom of the paper. Now, what this project's about is what happens if we take the horizon line and put it at a different level on the paper. Okay, so this is what the little sketches are about. You're going to do the same thing, mountains, road, horizon line. Just repeat the process. So what if we put the horizon line down here? How does that change the picture? So now we want to fill this up with your hills and mountains again. You want to fill the top of the paper, so go all the way to the top. They don't have to be exactly the same, by the way. Volcano over here. And of course, the road again. Notice what happens when the horizon line is lower. So let's try it again. We'll pick our favorite one to finish in a second. What if we put the horizon line up high? So here it was in the middle, down low, up high. Okay, same thing. Notice the mountains are much smaller. Notice you can get a lot more. Volcano, and we'll put the road in there. The road is much longer in this picture. You can even draw a tall way. Let's see. What I'll do with this one. What would happen if I put the horizon line diagonal? How would that change the whole look? We'll put it in the middle. What happens when the horizon line is diagonal? Hmm. 
That's a little different. Because if you look at the world, where the sky and the land meet, it's usually not diagonal. But, that can make for a fun picture. And then we'll put the road. All right. So now you want to pick your favorite. Okay. And I think I'm going to go with the really big field and small mountain range. So we're going to use a half a sheet for this. So what you want to do is take your paper, try to memorize what you just drew, and fold it in half. Put your fingers on the corners. Run your finger up and down. Now I got a half a sheet, so I can actually do two drawings if I want. And I believe for my final one, we use the full sheet of this half piece of paper. I'm going to put that horizon line at the top. Now, if you want to use a ruler, you can, but I think just going freehand, perfectly fine. In fact, I don't think there's a horizon line that's actually perfectly flat anyhow. All right, mountains. Kind of a jaggedy line going across. Hills, mountains, whatever. Trying to make them different, uneven. And for the sense of space, we'll put another one right here. It's going behind. Put your road in there. So remember, you want to widen it as you come closer to the bottom of the paper. Maybe a little tunnel at the end right there. All right, so now for the rest of the video, I'm going to go and fast forward and I'm going to add some details, think about where I want this landscape to be. Is it uh, farmland? Is it, is it jungle? Is it uh, desert? I think I'm going to go with desert because it looks like a big flat field here. So for the rest of this, I hope you enjoy this and fast forward. And sign your name. We will see you next time on Virtual Art School.